Squarespace just released a brand new feature called Section Dividers, available for page sections in version 7.1. In this video, I'm going to teach you about all of your cool new design options. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so you can see exactly how these new section dividers work. So here we are inside Squarespace, and I do want to mention this new divider feature is only available for page sections in Squarespace 7.1, and it can work with all types of page sections, classic, auto, and fluid. We have seven new design options with four design settings for most of them, and then three border options. And if you choose solid or dashed, we can adjust the color and thickness. We've got a lot to work with, so I'm gonna hop into edit mode and we can explore all of these options together. Now I'll select edit section, and down here, you'll see I have divider toggled on. If I toggle that off, it'll go back to normal. If I toggle it on, we'll get all of our cool new options. I currently have it set up to wavy, which we're looking at here but let's go ahead and click on the shape and check out our other options. None, we'll put it back to normal. If you select rounded, you'll get this rounded effect and you'll notice as soon as I selected it, I have these options down here to adjust the width, height, flip, and offset. If I click flip, it'll change the direction of that. Changing width will increase or decrease the number of instances of this pattern here. If I select small, we're going to see a lot of these rounded edges. Medium will show a few, large will just show a main one, and height can be small, medium, or large as well, creating an even bigger curve. If I click on these three dots, I can change this to a custom value. It currently says 100 VW, and this VW, that stands for view width. It's going to make sure that this curve stretches to 100% of the width of this browser window. So if I adjust this down here, I'm going to see more curves because each one of these now only takes up 12% of the browser window. And if I go all the way out here, it'll stretch it beyond the edges of the screen to 150% of the view width. So you have a lot of options here. Height works the same way. I can use on these presets, small, medium, and large, or click on these three dots and manually adjust it. If I increase this to 150, check it out. We've got to scroll down a lot to see how gigantic that divider is. I definitely don't recommend doing that, but customize it until it looks perfect for your own design. I just clicked on edit section. We're gonna go back to this shape and let's go ahead and reduce this back down maybe to, how about four VW? There we go. Now we can flip to change the actual axis here. It flips it on the X axis. And while we're speaking of that X or horizontal axis, we can also have it offset by a certain number of pixels. You can scoot it to the left and to the right of the axis. You've got a lot of creativity there. Now, again, we have multiple types here. Soft corners will have less design settings. I'm gonna reduce this height so we can really see it and I'll flip it back around. This soft corner just gives us a border radius and all we can adjust is the height or the flip. Everything else is going to have those width, height, flip, and offset options that we just played with. You'll notice you're going to get some interesting shapes and combinations depending upon the settings here. So we definitely have a lot to explore. Some of them are gonna look great if they're full screen or a little bit less. Some of them are gonna look great if they're tall or not. And here for this particular one, we also have flip on the Y axis available. It's important to note that the offset is only available for the X axis, not the Y, no matter what you've selected. So again, we've got a lot of different shapes, explore the height and the width, all kinds of cool things to cover here. Clicking around definitely gives you a lot of neat options and feel free to select randomize if you want to see some cool thing that it can do. Randomize will set those properties to something unique so you can definitely explore how cool these look. Now I'll show you one last time how we got here and then we'll check out our border options. Just select edit section and then down here, toggle on divider. This is where you can click into here and select any of the shapes that you want and change any of the op options for width, height, flip, or offset. And then if we scroll down here, this is where we can actually change the border. You can make sure it doesn't have a border by selecting none, or you can have a solid line or a dashed. Each of these page sections can have its own unique color. This isn't going to pull from a color theme, so you can customize this to literally any color you want it to be using the color picker or typing in a color code if you'd like. And then you also have the option to change details about that specific border type. So for dash, we have thickness. We can have the dash be large or we can have it be medium. Again, if you see those three dots, that means you have a slider that you can manually adjust. The gap between the dashes can be adjusted to be really thin or really large. Lots of fun options to explore there. Solid is a little different. For solid, all we can change is the thickness and the color.
So one last time, click on edit section, and down here you can toggle on the divider. This is how you can get a shape and how you can add the border. And if all you want is the border, just select none for the shape, and you'll still have the ability to change the border to a solid or dashed line, adjust the color, and all the other settings associated with it. I don't know about you, but I am super excited to get these section dividers a try on my current Squarespace website. Now, if you enjoyed this video, give me a like and a comment, and definitely subscribe to my channel on YouTube because I post brand new videos about Squarespace every single week and would love to keep you up to date with new features like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Everything you need to know about Squarespace, all in one place, inside the square. I've taught thousands of Squarespacers how to create and customize their websites, and I'm ready to teach you. At InsideTheSquare.co forward slash start, you'll learn everything you need to know to build your brand new website using Squarespace. If you're a fan of step-by-step -step tutorials and PDFs packed full of important information, you're going to love it. Head on over to InsideTheSquare.co forward slash start to get started. That's InsideTheSquare.co forward slash start.